This is the Rainbow Aviation Video Channel, and I'm your host, Brian Carpenter. Okay, so we're doing a crankshaft run out, or a prop shaft run out off of a 582 on a Kit Fox. Yeah. Yeah, and so this one had a prop strike, and so we're just measuring here. There's 10, 20, 25. And let's find the low spot there. So it looks like that's let's go to zero there. There's 20, 30, 40, 44 thousandths out around, which, um, as the customer said, was identifiable by using a ladder rather than a dial indicating micrometer to measure that, so it was pretty far out of whack. Anyway, that's a, that's a pretty easy way, if you've got some method, to just bolt this to a fixture um, for you to be able to check out around on the, on the prop flange. Okay. So this video is archive footage that we found in some old files and we wanted to just make sure that we got it onto the YouTube channel so that anyone that was interested in the procedure would at least have it as a reference. Um, Any time that we have a prop strike of course we're going to be doing a prop flange run out and um, this is a good example of one that is uh, totally hosed and it's not going to be able to be used again. Uh, we're typically talking only a thousandths or less on the run out of the prop flange under normal circumstances. But anytime that you've had a prop strike, uh, you're going to be doing this procedure to check uh, just to see if the damage to the prop flange is outside of the tolerances within the Rotax manual. You can also do this on the rear side of the prop flange while it's still bolted to the aircraft. So we just happened to have the customer bring the part to us and so we were checking it um, using the lathe which is a good procedure as well but um, not the only way to go about it. So there you have it, uh, prop flange run out.